गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज हर्षार टीचर फ्रॉम सेंट थॉमस बेथनी कॉन्वेंट स्कूल एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द फॉल ऑफ ट्रॉय सेकेंड पार्ट सो इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट वी हैव सीन वॉट इज द ट्रॉय ओके एंड विच सिटी ट्रॉय इज अ सिटी बेसिकली एंड दिस इज द स्टोरी ऑफ द एपिक एंड दिस एपिक वॉज रिसाइटेड बाय अ ग्रीक पोएट कॉल्ड होमर एंड होमर कॉल दिस एपिक एज अ एलियड then it portrays the battle between the ancient kingdoms of troy that is present day turkey and the greece okay so while visiting the uh, spartan kings menelaus trojan princess paris fall uh, for menelaus wife's helen and takes her back to troy so menelaus brothers king and uh, the greece people greece king uh, situated the army together in front of the troy city and uh, before the great in front of the great and every day they came to fight with uh, in the morning and fight with the trojan and again get back to their ships and the tent so every day it happen till 10 years so like this is story sometimes uh, there is a battle between a uh, two heroes sometimes there is a battle between the uh, two uh, soldiers like this is happen every day uh, 10 years now we'll see further what happen so this is the part 2 of this story and now we'll see what happen at last troy was taken not by force but by a trick it was the cunning odysseus odysseus who thought of a plan to obtain the victory so this is the cunning odysseus and he make the plan how to take the victory against the trojans let us build a great wooden horse he said So, big enough to hold men inside it and let some of our best fighters hide in the horse so he make one idea that he is going to build a great wooden horse uh, it is at that much big enough so men can be sit inside it then like this uh, let let us burn our tents and pretend to sail away in our ship so what happened they have uh, they have built one big horse and after that they burn their tents itself and they are pretending that they are sailing their ship and they are going away to greece but instead of sailing away we will return in the night and what they will do what is the plan instead of sailing away they will wait till the night and when the trojans are asleep we will attack the city and burn and kill so what they have decided that in the midnight they will come back when they are in sleep they'll come and attack on the city and burn and kill all the trojans so like this they have made the plan the greek leader decided to follow the advice of the wise odyssey and everybody decide to follow the advice of the odysseus then so a great horse of wood was made by a skillful engineer and the greatest heroes manolas odysseus himself and the other enter it and the last man to go is being the architect himself who knew the secret of opening and shutting the entrance okay so as it is decided by the plan they have built one wooden horse and uh, they are going getting inside the horse in that greatest sort one is the engineer then the menolas then odysseus himself and the other two three man inside the horse and the uh, because uh, engineer should be there because he only knows the secret of opening and closing or the shutting the entrance that evening the greek burned their tents and sailed away in their ships but they did not go very far only one man was left behind to persuade the trojan to drag the horse into their city 
okay so what happened only one man uh, waiting near the horse and all are sailing away in their ship but they did not go far away then next day trojan woke up expecting to go out and fight as they had done for the past 10 years what delight and surprise they felt at the sight they saw on the seashore outside the wall and next day like every day they were thinking about the war and they are woke up expecting that go are, they are going out and uh, do the fighting and f- uh, as they are doing from the last 10 years so what delight and surprise they felt at the sight they saw on the seashore outside the wall so what was the surprise it seems that the long siege was over at last so they thought that the siege those who have the greece people have already gone and the tent had been burned the shore was deserted the greek ship had all gone and now they have seen that all that greek ships have gone all the tents are burned and at last the siege has over now they don't want to fight more it's peace at last they cried and open wide their gates and came out in a large number of a, on the plain glad to be free again to go where they please and at last they think that now there will be the peace and now they can open the gate come along come to the seashore and enjoy their lives as how they want to and then they saw on the sands the huge wooden horse they gather round it is astonishment for it was indeed a wonderful piece of work and then suddenly they have saw the sand in the sand a huge wooden horse they gather around it and they were amazed to see they were surprised to see it is a wonderful piece of work as they were wondering how the horse had been built and why it had been left behind and after that they were just looking around it that how it is built and why it is left behind they found a greek with his hand and tied together lying under it so uh, they found one greek man who is tied together lying under it when the trojan dragged him out the man pretended to be very frightened of them and when uh, trojan saw it they saw him that man they take him out and uh, that man is pretended that it, uh, he is very frightened when he was commanded to tell them why the greek had gone and why they had left this horse behind and afterwards trojan command them that how or why the greek had gone and why they had left this horse behind he pretend to tremble very much and refuse to speak so he is very tremble he is very frightened and he is not ready to speak when at last they threatened and when they threatened to them then to kill him they have frightened him to uh, or threatened him to kill he spoke and told them this false tale and after that he told a false tale to the trojans the greek are tired of the long war and have sailed away in their ships so uh, the, he said that the greek are very tired for a long war and now they want to ship their uh, sail away their ships he said but they are afraid of the long voyage home too but after that they are afraid and they uh, for the long long voyage long journey towards the home and so they have made this horse and left it as an offering to the god of the sea and so what they did they have made one uh, this horse wooden horse and this horse is offering to the god of the sea they wanted also to kill me and offer me as a sacrifice to the sea god and they have 
offer me also and kill me or for the sacrifice to the sea god so like this but i escaped and hide from them but what happened i escaped and hide from them so like this false story told by that greek person but why did the great make such a huge horse some of the trojan asked and one time one that trojan asked to that man why did the greek people make this huge horse and the cunning greek made this reply that the cunning greek made this reply and this is how he have told the false story to the uh, trojans that the cunning greek made this reply that if they had made a smaller offering you might have taken it into your city so that cunning greek uh, replied that if you have they offer the small you can take him to the city that horse and then the luck would have gone to the trojans and not to the greek and what is the luck is gone to the trojans not to the greeks so that is why they made it too big to go inside your gates so that he have made it too big so go inside your gate the trojan were delighted to hear this the greek have gone they said and the walls are no longer necessary so let us make a hole in the wall and drag the horse in so after that they decided to drag the horse inside and so that they have broken the wall they have made the hole in a hole on the wall and take the horse inside Troy was filled with the sight of the leaping flames and the sound of shouting and the noise of weapons and the cries of weeping women the sleeping trojans sprang out of their beds but they were taken by surprise their enemies were right inside their walls and many of the trojans were killed before they could put on their armors and seize their weapons but their wise prince when they took that horse inside their wise priest warned them not to do so it may be a trick that will rinse us he said you will bring disaster on the city if you break down the walls but and his priest the trojans priest was advising him uh, that don't break down the wall don't take that uh, take him inside everything they have advised but they were so excited that they paid not attention to his words and they broke down part of their strong wall in order to drag the horse in so that they don't want to listen any anybody from anything and so that what they did they have not paid attention towards the priest they broke down the part of their strong wall and in order to drag the horse in all the day the trojan feasted and drank and celebrated after all their celebration they went to sleep and slept soundly but that day of rejoicing was soon followed by the night of terror and death and all this day soon will be end why because it was a trick as it decided by the greek and so that the greek ship had not sailed far as soon as they were hidden by the island and they had lowered their sails and dropped anchor and waited for the night in the darkness and fleet sailed back and leading ship which a agamemnon bore a red light high on its mast the greek who was watching for the return of the fleet crept to the wooden horse and gave the signal so and after that what happened as soon as all the trojans were asleep the greek ships had not sailed as it is decided and that is the lower their sails dropped near the anchor and waited for the night in the darkness they fleet sailed back 
and leading ship was the Agamemnon. Bore and red light high on its mast, the Greek, who was watching for the return of the fleet, crept to the wooden horse and gave the signal. The side of the horse opened and the Greek climbed out and opened the gates. The whole Greek army entered the sleeping city. Immediately the Greeks set fire to the houses and towers and palaces and began to burn and kill. So like this they have entered their army inside the city and they have started destroying everything. They are burning, they are uh, destroying, they are firing, they are killing to everybody and like this immediately whole Greek soldiers spread over the Troy. And immediately Troy fleet filled with the sight of a leaping flames and the sound of a shouting and noise of weapons and the cries of weeping women. The sleeping Trojans sprang out their beds but they were taken by the surprise. Their enemies were right inside their walls and many of the Trojans were killed before they could put on their armors and siege their weapons. So what happened? So before they realize that where is their army, who is doing all this nonsense, who is doing all this distrustment. So before thinking that only the enemies right inside their walls, they are in their house. And so that they, they could not put their weapons in their hand, they could not seize their, uh, seize their armor on anything. All right light up the night sky as palaces and the houses, temples and towers went up in flames. The Trojan fought as well as they could but it was all in vain because old King Prima was killed with all his brave sons. Hector's wife and his old mother and sisters were carried off as slaves by the conquerors. Their fate was in contrast of Helen's when King Manolas rushed through the city, looking for her and found her in her palace. She hung her head in shame and sorrow as she faced her former husband. Her voice was choked. So, in this way, all the Greek written to the Trojans, they seize, uh, they destroy everything and at last they enter the palace and when they saw uh, after that they um, become a, uh, they make the prisoner of the prisoner of Hector's wife his old mother sister and they are carried as a slaves by the Greek people and their fate is a contrast that is Helen's when King Manolas rushed to the city looking for her and found her in her palace so she hung her head in a shame because she have uh, she was looking in front of her only her husband so her voice was also choked with the with the emotion and she could not speak anything but manolas forgave her and she went back with him <coughs> for it was only the Aphrodite who had turned her heart away from her home and her husband and her child. The Aphrodite is a goddess by the uh, Greek people and she have turned her uh, heart away from her home and her husband and her child also. So that she have uh, behaving like this and when morning came nothing was left of proud rich city that had registered attack for 10 years and because of the Greek people this city is not more not uh, there anymore it is full vanished by the Greek people and you can see this a uh, big horse over there so this big horse is uh, destroy the everything of the Trojans so I hope everybody have understood this. So we will just see the summary of this uh, lesson. 
so history marks an important of the people and this is the epic recited by the greek poet called homer as i already told you and while visiting this uh, king manolas the trojan prince paris falls in love with the manolas wife and he took him to the uh, troy city and after that the manolas brother and his brother uh, king agam agamemnon and uh, um, all this all the kings of greece are uh, sieged the uh, troy city and they were fighting till 10 years after the 10 years one day one greek cunning people called odysseus he have make the plan how to how to defeat the trojans and he make the plan as per the plan he have made the uh, wooden horse and because of that wooden horse everything is destroyed uh, by the trojan himself and afterwards uh, the the manolas wife he have took to the greece so like this the trojan have lost their city and everything just because of the helen and just because of the wooden horse i think everybody have understood the story i'll give you the hard words uh, when we are discussing the lesson okay i think all of you understood the story of the fall of troy why it is fall and how it is fall so everything i have explained and it is a fantastic story it is a epic told by the homer okay so in this way i have completed this we have completed this lesson if you have any doubt you can ask me while discussion and we will see the question answers while discussing the lesson thank you very much thank you students stay home stay safe